So in this video, I'm going to talk about finding the area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. So find the area of the following triangles. And here's the triangle. And it has a base of 15 centimeters and a height of 18 centimeters. And here's the formula for finding the area of a triangle. The product of base and height divided by 2. So the base is 15 and the height is 18 centimeters. So 15 times 18 is 270. Divided by 2, it will be 135 square centimeters. Another triangle. We have a base of 7 meters and a height of 12 meters. So the area or the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So base is 7, height is 12. And then we multiply 7 times 12 is 84. 84 divided by 2 is 42. So the answer is 42 square meters. Another triangle. So we have the base which is 12.5 centimeters and the height is 9.6 centimeters. So let's follow the formula and substitute. So 12.5 times 9.6 divided by 2. So 12.5 times 9.6 is 120. Divided by 2, it will be 60 square centimeters. Next, we're going to find the area of the following parallelograms. So here's the first parallelogram, and the base is 12, with a height 5 meters. So formula for parallelogram is base times height. So base is 12, and the height is 5. So 12 times 5 is 60. So that's the area of the given parallelogram, 60 square meters another parallelogram so let's follow the area uh, formula for parallelograms base times height so base is 6.8 the height is 4.75 so let's multiply this 32.3 square centimeters another parallelogram so the base is 4 meters and the height is 8.25 meters so the formula for a parallelogram base times height 4 times 8.25 and that is 33 square meters. So sometimes the given is not using the term height, sometimes it's altitude and it's going to be the same. So next, find the area of the following trapezoids. Here's the first trapezoid, and the formula for finding the area of trapezoids B sub 1, or the first base plus the second base, or B sub 2, times height divided by 2. So the, the B1 and B2 can be interchanged, so it, it will not be a big deal to interchange the two bases, which one is B1 and which one is B2. So it's going to be the same answer even if you interchange them. But usually I put the B1, which is the longer base, and B2 is the shorter base. But as I said, it can be interchanged. And so we have the first base 15 meters, second base is 3 meters, times the height, which is 8 meters. 15 plus 3 is 18. 18 times 8, 144, divided by 2. 772 square meters. That's the area of the given trapezoid. Another one. So here's another figure of a trapezoid. And let's follow the formula. So the base one, or the, the first base, so you usually use the longer one, 24.66 plus 15.25, that's the second base, times the height, which is 13 divided by 2. So the sum of 24.66 and 15.25 is 39.91. 39.91.
times the height, which is 13, it's 518.83. Divided by 2, then it will be 259.415 square meters. Or you can approximate it to 4.42. So it will be up to you or up to the given. Next, so here's a trapezoid. So a right trapezoid because it forms a 90 degree angle. So still follow the formula for finding area of a trapezoid. So the base 1 is 19, base 2 is 16 on top. And 19 plus 16 is 35. So 35 times 10.5 is 367.5 divided by 2. We have 183.75 square centimeters. And that's the area of the given trapezoid. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.